Right, we are back. We're going to be making some Galaxy coasters today. I've not done them yet. I've only done the Galaxies on a smaller pendant size. Um, we're going to be using the 26 ink Alco ink set to do this. And what we're going to do after the Alistair is just cover the backs with black Alco ink. Um, you can try mica powders, but it won't look the same as it does with Alco ink. Um, we're going to be using the Collab 1-1. And before you panic about the alco inks i've got some bits in the garden as part of another video they've been out there well over two weeks and i've not noticed any fading but as with any resin art i highly recommend you keep out of direct sunlight right let's get mixing oh before i go we're going to be using the marabou rainbow alco ink for stars you might have seen the video where i showed you how you can make your own with mica powders if you've got that go ahead and use it Right, let's get mixing. Right, it's not fully mixed as you can see, it's really cloudy still, really streaky. But I'm going to add my marabou now, just so I know it's thoroughly mixed in. When I pour, I'm going to add a good amount. And then what I've decided I'm going to try is when it comes to stirring, I'm not sure if it's going to work or I might just experiment whilst I'm dropping my inks, is use some of the gold metallic and silver metallic Alco inks. These are from, I think, Octopus. Is it Octopus? Yeah, Octopus Fluids. I got mine as a set of three with the copper. You don't have to use it, but I'm going to try and get some good galaxy effects, hopefully. Right, I'm going to finish mixing with we'll pour. Right. My resin is all poured out. Now this coaster set is from Let's Resin. As with all the products I use, it's in the description box below. Now this stand, this base, is I really am pushing my work in depth. But I've used it many times before. I've not had any issues. But you could do this if, you, if you're worried about it um, getting too warm. Do it in two layers. Do it in two pours. You could always do this before you start doing the rest, like the day before maybe, and just let it cure halfway and then finish it off. But like I said, I've used it like this many times. I've not had any issues. Right, I'm gonna dig out some inks. Massive shout out to my channel members. Thank you for your support. And to those who have bought me a super thanks, which is the new feature from YouTube. And to those who have bought me a coffee, I will sadly be um turning off the buy me a coffee and it will all be done through youtube and super thanks but thank you to those who have shown support it really does help right i'm going to dig out my colors right i've got some colors out so i'll just show them as i go through now like i said we want the galaxy let's lock my focus we want the galaxy to sit in the center now the trouble is as we all know with our co inks is they like to spread <laughs> so what you might see me using i need to top this up quick is some isopropanol i discovered that you can help that push your inks and kind of direct them to where you want them to go but you'll see as i'm doing it and i might on one or two instead of waiting till after the stir to add the black i might try and use it alongside the inks so I think what I need to do is move my tray over kind of got it balanced on this stick because it's not level and we pop that just to the side and then I can get to these a lot easier right I'm going to be using the sinker white from Let's Resin which is in the box set the C white sinker which gives us that really cool bobbly effect. Now let's begin. So I wanna try the coffee as a center on one with some yellow. You can see just how much that wants to spread out. Go for the yellow on the top. And I'm just going to let that do its thing. I don't want to go in too much with too much colour. But what I am going to try to do is use some of these little mixing pots. 
and just get some small amounts of colour. So I'm not dropping it into the actual piece. But hopefully it'll work. I'm just going to use my rubber wand. And just add. It might not show, but we can try. Okay. On to number two. What should we go for? This is the magenta. Too much. And I think we'll go with a blue. See how it's, you know, we want that concentrated into the, into the middle, really. But I'll show you what, what we can do to hopefully rectify that. Let's try a turquoise. My lid doesn't want to come off. What can we go with turquoise? See with this I don't mind if they're muddy because some galaxies have got that muddy look. I'm going to go with some red. Now with this one, we'll go with a purple, that was two drops, <laughs> I'm really hoping they change these bottles soon, they have said they are going to, because the other bottles drop a lot better than what these ones do. Right, let's see what we've got. They really have spread out this one not so much let's move on to the base I think what should we go for on this one I think we'll go with blues and purples on this one as well And then what I'm going to do is get some gold and silver out. And hopefully we can kind of get some, I don't want too much. this really can spread out and I'm just gonna dip in my stick again it might not show through it's worth a try We'll do the same on this one. And that is actually pushing the colours inwards as well. Same as what the isopropanol would do. We'll try the silver on the next one instead of the gold. Before I do that, I think I need to add my white first because it's going to spread out more and then by adding the silver afterwards, hopefully that will push it in. And so you'll see it spread quite a bit. 
try and get this blue as well. This one really has spread out a lot. A lot more than what I wanted. Same with this one. See the red is kind of, the red's kind of fine. It's just that turquoise is really spread out a lot. Right, now let's go back to that other one and see if the silver pushes it inwards. Let me lock my focus again. It's not really pushing it. So we'll try the other way, the isopropanol, and this will just evaporate. Just try and push it all in, you can see it's now pushing inwards, but it's also giving us that wispy colour that you can see. Almost like a bloom. You see that? So that will give you some, um, some hopefully some good colour. We'll do the same on this one as well. Just try and push those colours inwards. Like so. I discovered this absolute fluke <laughs> but it really does work and it can help when you want more control of your alcohol inks in such a larger piece and as I said it will just evaporate makes a big difference doesn't it it's not so in your face now and then when it comes to the stale we can get that galaxy spiral um, I think I might leave this one I might not go in with any isopropanol on this because we want some color over the whole base don't we we don't want it too squashed in the middle. So let's just push this one in a little bit more up here. Try and get some of that silver concentrated kind of together, if that makes sense. And what that is also doing is it's pushing that sinker white so you're you're going to get the effect whereas what the sinker white had spread over the surface it's not really going to get that sinking effect whereas it will now because it's kind of pushed it gets more concentrated into the center
and it's given us that really cool smoky vibe which will show through just really push it inwards so this is 99.9% .9 isopropanol but any should work right I think now I'm gonna go a bit over the top so I need to kind of stop <laughs> and we will be back for the stir I'll see you soon I just said I wanted to try adding the black to one or two of these now so I might do this red and turquoise it might muddy like I said but It might also help push that color in a little bit more. Any gaps we can kind of fill when it comes to the hour stir. And it will still cure. Right, so shall we try another one now? Or do we just wait? Let's do this one. I fully expect this one to muddy. But it'll be more natural. And like I said, we're not adding any sinker to the black. It's just there. To complement the colours really. And then when it comes to the hour stay, we'll drop black over the back as well. Right, see you in a bit. Right, so it's been about an hour. And we've got that stringy consistency that we want. So it's time to stir. Just working out how, <laughs> how I want to stir these to get them to look right. So I kind of want like a similar to like a black hole style effect. So I want it to look kind of 3D really. Just try and work out how I'm going to get that effect. So I'm going to start in the middle. I might go over this a few times. I'm just going to stir maybe bring this through really am trying to get this right Ideally, I want this flatter, but I think adding isopropanol now is not really going to push it. I'll try one drop and see what happens, but I want this flatter. Yeah, it's not going to... It's pushing it a little bit, but... Not enough. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to swirl it again. Maybe bring it out a bit more. Really, I'm making a mess of this one.
we'll leave it at that. Right, so this time I'm going to go in a bit differently. Then I'm going to bring that out slightly, I think. And we'll leave that one at that. I'm quite happy with that. And like I said before, we're going to add some more black alcohol ink. Now what I'm going to try is stirring in some gold as well. It might not work. We can only try. <laughs> so I'm just going to cover my stirring stick. It's not really clinging to it. I wonder if I drip. No, it's not really going to drip in either. So we're going to start up here. maybe draw out these it's not really in in the middle so I could try and move it but it is just gonna fall back to where it was <laughs> gotta love resin haven't you Resin and alcohol inks. Right, again on this one. Just drawing some of that negative resin through. I quite like that area there as it is. So we're going to draw the one next to it around. And we'll leave that one as well. So it's just the base now, and then we just need to cover with our, our black. This one is a little bit all over the place. No, I'm gonna leave it. Leave it as it is. Might not look like a galaxy, but I'm not that fast. Where have I put my black? There it is. So now we just cover. Cover the whole piece. And that gold is starting to lift. I'm hoping it's still going to be visible. Really not keen on this one. And 
and depending on how patchy it is I might cover with just some black mica powder mixed in with some resin once it's cured but I'll leave that part of the video out if I do because we all know how to do that part hand is totally getting in the way <laughs> Right, I'm going to crack on with the others, you know what I'm doing, you can see, I want to bore you with the rest. We just want good coverage. Right, I'll see you for the D-mould. Right, we're all set, I didn't back with mica powder in the end, just in case they didn't come out okay. So, let's begin. Hopefully we've got some resemblance of the galaxy. It's there. It's, sorry, the reflection is so good. It's not good, but <laughs> well, it is good, but it's uh, the reflection is quite strong. Smile. <laughs> you can see there is the galaxy there. It's very faint, but it's there. I'm just wondering whether the gold has shown through on any of them. Wow. See, we've got that muddy colour, and I'm fine with that in this. It's just a bit offish there, isn't it? If that was a continuous swirl around. Got a good cluster there of the metallic. It's good. It's good. See if any gold, so the black alcohol ink did lift that gold up. So hopefully there's still some inside. This is the one I wasn't too keen on, wasn't it? I'm still not keen on it now. <laughs> and it's really off center. A cluster of gold there. It's just not doesn't look very galaxy to me that one right last one for the coasters wow now that is super cool it's got that nice swell it's a bit off up here but it's still super cool and you've got those sparkly stars Really nice. Good detail. Off there, but it doesn't matter. Right now for the stand. I'm happy with these results. Try and get this out without breaking the mold. Come on, there it goes, pop. Right, did we get anything on the stand? Yes. It's not brilliant, it's not very visible, but it's still cool. And obviously when you demold your coasters, I've got some rubber feet that I, I put on the bottom of mine. Um, but don't leave them stacked because they will stick together and you'll have trouble um, getting them apart for the first good maybe a few days to a week and they just stack nicely into our holder again guys give the video a thumbs up drop me a comment if you haven't hit that sub button help support the channel still 50 odd percent of my viewers haven't hit that button for me if you haven't signed in just sign in quickly and sub so you will be informed of my next video when it's uploaded. Hit that notification bell and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.